How do YouTube? Uh, Patrick here doing a uh, update on my Remington 783. I actually kind of started doing a rebuild on it because I purchased a Ruger American rifle, moved the scope from a 783, um, and uh, bought a new scope for my 783, like for it, because I took the other one off. And I added, I just added another piece. So there's that Nikon Pro stuff. And here is a Matthews uh, Kydex cheek rest. I say Matthews because I purchased it from, I always forget the name, MatthewsFabrication.com, or you can find it on Amazon. Um, but I bought, purchased that for 40 bucks, uh, added 10 bucks because I got it shipped here quicker, ordered it last Friday, and it got here today. Um, so over Memorial Weekend, I ordered it Thursday night actually, but I ordered it at like 11.45 at night. And it got here, and it, I got the email saying it shipped Friday. And uh, so what it comes with is the pre-molded Kydex cheek crust, two uh, vibration knobs so that they don't, when you fire, they won't loosen. And then two quarter inch, um, quarter inch by 20 threaded bolts with uh, square heads that there's a square cut, there's a square cut in there where it locks it so the bolt doesn't spin when you're trying to spin the knob on the other side. Um, by the way, sorry about the camera angles. Uh, my front facing camera is not working at the moment and I do record these on my phone so I'm having to actually just guess what y'all are looking at and uh, sorry. So I'll make this short and sweet. 40 bucks. Absolutely worth it. I get a, a perfect cheek weld. Just pull it up right there, right down the right down the scope. Uh, love it. One thing that you can avoid when installing, I chose not to avoid it because I wanted this a little further closer, was always make sure your bolt clears. And obviously mine clears by a solid half inch. But I can't quite pull the bolt out for cleaning. Um, so what I am going to do is I am going to mark... Ow, that was my head, but that's cool. Uh, I am going to mark on this side where the cheek rest is so that when I move this to, to let this bolt out, I can um, get it back to exactly where it is without having to take the time and figure it out. Now, one thing about that is I can just undo the front knob. I can just undo that and lift this up or down. I can cant it front and back. So if I wanted to, I can just do that, drop that front one down, pull the bolt out, and I'll be able to, you know, I don't even have to mess with this back one. And I like that a lot. Um, just the design overall is very, very sleek, very clean. I messed the, I messed that up a hair when I was drilling the holes because um, I had this tape to it so I could line the holes up. And I also didn't get a straight through the, through the uh, stock. I accidentally canted mine by one sixty-fourth of an inch so mine's a little stiff but it still moves it still functions and it still locks down nice and tight and i can't you know push that or anything so i love it i uh can't wait to go out and try and sight in my rifle using this now uh because i still got to sight in my icon pro staff so uh sorry if i'm screaming because the last couple videos i made were a little quiet and uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Go check it out at MatthewsFabrication.com. I'll probably try and throw the link into the description here. Y'all have a good one.